Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So today we have a bit of surprise Temtem news, uh, that being the first look at Sipanku and the current status of the roadmap. Now, a lot of people have been asking and I did do a video uh, going over like whether or not Temtem would be releasing sooner or later or whatever. And in that video, I said like things are definitely getting pushed back. Uh, they, I, I don't see the game releasing at the original uh, intended time and the roadmap of course is outdated suki the community manager had also uh, gone over this in the comment which is pinned and uh yeah basically the old roadmap is out the window forget about it you, you can use it as a reference to see what kind of content is coming to the game but in terms of time it's no good anymore that said uh like i did say we, we do get to see a bit of sipanku apparently i haven't actually seen it yet i, I wanted to sort of react with you guys and this is going to be a newsletter uh, newsletter formatted video just like my uh kindred fates newsletter videos or the mithra newsletter videos sort of we're just going to sort of read it off we're going to uh, talk about it speculate react all that fun stuff so if you want something more scripted i highly recommend checking out the uh nexomon extinction custom mode that i have planned for tomorrow i'm doing a review on it so just stay tuned for that uh, other than that uh you can check out um either the sky climbers trailer breakdown that i did in a very scripted format or any of my other essay videos anyway with that said let's jump into it hello tamers we hope that you've had a good start to 2021 and that uh whatever you're doing this uh year you're having a blast doing it we're writing uh today to share some insights on the current state of the project our hopes for the future and some questions you've been sending our way First and foremost, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Is our current roadmap up to date? Unfortunately, and you may already know, it is not. So again, roadmap's not up to date. See, Panku said fall. <laughs> it's not fall anymore, okay? We made the current roadmap right after our early access launch in February of last year, before we know what sort of year 2020 was going to be. And while we've always stressed the fact that the roadmap was not set in stone, it certainly doesn't matter. It certainly doesn't match, rather, uh, reality anymore. We've had to twist and change our plans quite a few times since early access launch, sometimes because of good stuff, other times not so much. I'm sure you've all seen this happen a lot this year, and we understand that this is disappointing for everyone, including us, and we're really sorry. Now, I have to say, uh, Crema, if anyone from Crema is watching this, uh, you don't have to apologize. COVID was something that nobody could have expected, and I'd much, much, much rather the content updates be delayed than uh, rushed. I, I, I think we've learned as a community and I mean, not even just as a monster taming community, but as a as a just a general gaming community that rushed products are never good. I'd much rather wait longer for a game than have it come out and be crap. That, 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 that's my opinion. I think most people agree. I think a lot of people when they complain that the game's not out yet or, or you know, when's it coming out? But they, they either don't think about that or th they want the game out, but they also want it good. And they don't understand that, you know, sometimes you, ha you need to take more time anyway. Um. You've been asking us to update uh, the roadmap, and we've been thinking hard about it, but in the end, it does, just doesn't feel like it would do justice for our vision of Temtem, and to you. Closed dates add a lot of pressure and put another load on our shoulders, and we want to focus on delivering the highest quality content possible and ship it when it's ready. So I, I totally get that. I, I think what they could do if they really want to give people a heads up is like a couple weeks before the update's ready, or before they think it's going to be ready, just be like, hey guys, um... We think the update uh, is going to probably drop this month. Like, nothing super set in stone or whatever. Or, or when they're just at the last, like, the last stages of, of tweaking the update. Like, just making every, sure everything's polished. Then they could say, like they did before, hey, tomorrow or the next day or whatever. This is when the update's coming. Uh, rest assured, though, we are still going to deliver everything on the original roadmap. Plus, unexpected in-between content to keep things fresh between updates. So, we've already seen these. Uh, with the, the Kisiwa update when they added Koish. Uh, you've already experienced some of these unexpected features. Oh, <laughs> like the latest content update, which included a fishing um, mechanic, dojo rematches, a postal service, and wishing wells. None of these features had been announced beforehand and weren't even planned. But looking at our, our user feedback, we believe they were necessary, even that, if that meant a change in plans. We cannot blindly keep on developing the game we had in mind from the beginning. Uh, and new islands are important. But we also believe that providing new content in between is as well. We hope that these little surprises will help the wait between big updates be a little more fun. I agree with that. I, I, I think that's a great. I, I think that's a good idea. It'll give people a reason to come back to the game more often. This is an MMO, so uh, player retention is a, a big factor in it. So I, I'm happy with that. I, I'm, I'd much rather um, the current game have a lot of uh, 
ha have a lot of like retention capability than just here's an island you're gonna play it and then you're never gonna touch it again type thing so i, I i'm happy with that uh we want you to know Ooh, okay hold on hold on <laughs> <laughs> I, I caught a sneak peek of that real quick. We want you to know what's coming, but we want to make sure you have the ability to make decisions based on giving players the best game possible versus making hard choices to hit our previously set dates. From now onwards, please take the current roadmap as a way to see all planned features in one convenient place. So just like I said earlier, uh, although we will continue on uh, working with the previous goals in mind, including the upcoming console launch and game completion, we'd rather keep deadlines internal only. That way we can continue uh, with a tight aim in mind. While knowing that our player base is aware of these deadlines are no longer a solid uh, and require a broader range of expectations, we're working hard as ever. But we also want to avoid further disappointment in our community. Oh, here we go. Look at this. This is so nice. Okay, hold on. As for the often question, see Panku when, we're currently targeting end of March, beginning of April. So I was kind of right in my this month month in monster taming video. I said like it's a possibility for February, but I, I wasn't so sure. But I think by April we'll definitely have it. So there you go. Uh, there are some unknown features that will surprise and delight you. And we hope that in retrospective, the wait will be worth it. We've currently hatched all, halt, sorry, halted all bug fixes to focus entirely on testing out the new content, but this also means some bugs might take a while to get fixed. We apologize for any of the inconvenience. Temtem's not inherently a buggy game, so I think it'll be fine. Uh, we know this isn't a fun conversation, and we're sorry it's been such a long slab of text. Thanks for putting up with it and for being patient while we uh, find the right words. We wanted to reward your patience and support to balance all this boring news with the very first look at Sipanku. Look at so, so as you can see, this is the um, so in Sipanku, it's it's divided into two areas. There's the the very old school, um, uh, more uh, Eastern Asia sort of based area, which is has like the monks and all the electric types. This is what we're seeing here. I believe the pink uh, the pink grass is probably to represent the. Um, the cherry blossom trees and stuff like that so that's pretty cool and then you can see some of the architecture here very nice very very uh martial arts-esque is, is is what i'd say like very like this looks like um one of the dojos near the near, near where i train actually it's it i i like it this is very nice and uh if you look very closely we have a thick boy right here right on the right side look at that guy he's pretty thick that's uh something we have not seen before and then if you look at to the left it appears to be the same one just at a different angle or perhaps a pre-evolution i'm not too sure and if you zoom right in this looks like a little b temtem uh th this might be the temtem that was teased previously so yeah uh pretty huh this long-awaited island also includes some spicy uh, new Thames that will surely change the dynamics of the game up until now, and a very long list of balance changes that have taken your feedback into account on what was internally planned. Some quality of life changes heavily requested by our community. Hello, teleport. Yes! Teleport, yes! <laughs> Thank God! <laughs> are also on their way and it's full of anime references perfect wings to pop culture and a ton of uh little details about what the delight of all of us weaves so that th th that's good I, I i'm expecting some dragon ball and naruto references uh that there's that one guy i i can't tell if that's a guy or if, or if it's a lady but there's one person whose head is slightly being covered by the uh by the the architecture there and it almost looks like rock lee's head so you know, you, you, you never know. Anyway, <laughs> thanks as ever for your continued support and understanding, and we'll do our best to continue progressing and improving with our help. Uh, you can always reach out at this, this, and that. Okay, so final thoughts. I am very happy that they sort of set the record straight. Like, this is what we're going to do. We, we're not going to give you guys all the dates. That's fine. I, like, I, I totally understand it. I want them to take their time with the game. Uh, regarding what they showed, it looks beautiful. I mean, uh, the Sepanko update is going to bring us a lot. We're going to get our first look at the Legendary, which is shown here. This is actually a screenshot we've seen before, but this seems to be the Spirit of a Knock or whatever. So we have that. We have uh, this very nice looking area. So we still haven't seen the more digital oriented area, which is down in like the um, urban sort of metropolitan side of the island so i'm excited to see that as well but then we get we get to see a couple new temtem which is always nice and we can always speculate the the, the one i see uh, i that looks like a, it could be a statue to me it looks like it could be an electric fighting type 
uh, much like the recently revealed evolution of Sparzy, which you, you're showing you on screen now. So um, that's also a poll. They're, they're asking people to vote for uh, what you want Sparzy's pre-evolution to be. And uh, this is its final form. I'm not too sure why it changes color to the extent that it does, but I actually like its design. And again, electric uh, melee is a really good combination. We don't even have an electric fighting type Pokemon yet, so definitely good. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, latest update. I thought it was big enough news to uh, give its own video, much like the newsletters we see from other uh, games such as Kindred Fates and Mithrin, uh, like I mentioned earlier. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what your top hopes are for Sipanku and uh, what you think regarding uh, the many balancing changes that are coming to PvP. I've kind of decided to hold off on PvP for the most part until the full roster is around. That way I don't have to like keep respecting my Temtem and stuff like that. But uh, let me know what you guys think. If, you, if you're part of the competitive community, let me know um, what kind of changes you're expecting to see and uh, what you want to see from the new update. We're going to get a lot of electric types and digital types, so that's definitely going to shake up the meta. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.